מגילת אסתר פרק ד' פסוק א' ומרדכי ידע את כל אשר נעשה ויקרא מרדכי את בגדיו וילבש שק ואפר ויצא בתוך העיר ויזעק זעקה גדולה ומרה. Let's explain the words. ומרדכי ידע את כל אשר נעשה, מרדכי knew everything, meaning what Haman and Ahashverosh discussed and agreed between them that they're going to destroy all the Jews. Because of Mordechai, he was inside. Some Mepharshim explained that Mordechai had the Ruach HaKodesh. He had the Ruach HaKodesh, so you know, because it was only between Amman and Ahashverosh. So how Mordechai knew? Because he had the Ruach HaKodesh. Some say because he is the Shebe Sha'ar HaMelech. So when he's in Sha'ar HaMelech, he knows a little bit inside, from inside, exactly what's going on inside, in the, in the house. So when he knew what happened, he knew, he knew everything. Vayikra Mordechai Begadav. He ripped his clothing. He, he, he wore on his, on his body, instead of clothing, a sack. Like in English, you say the word sack. It's an ashes. He took an ashes and he put it on his, on his head. He went out in the city. And he screamed, huge scream. ולא רק מרה, something very, it's a bitter, מרה is a, when a person is bitter, is a, is a bitter person, and he scream, the, 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 the sound, it come not just, ah, not just for the voice, it's coming from the lungs, it's coming from the heart. וזעק זעקה גדולה ומרה, צעק בכל הלב. This is what happened to Mordechai. Now, I want to tell you מדרש, very... Interesting Midrash about this Pasuk. The Midrash said, you know what happened? First of all, when Mordechai knew who kara'at begadav, he raped his clothing. Omer Midrash, Midrash Abba, you know what's the reason, and Bereshit Rabba, you know what's the reason that Mordechai was supposed to rip his clothing? Because that Binyamin, he calls his, fa- his brothers to rip his day clothing. When Yosef, he put the gavia, we're going back to the time of Yosef and Yaakov. When Yosef put the gavia in the bag of Binyamin, in the knapsack of Binyamin, and they left already the city. Yosef told Menashe, told his... Uh, minister, his, uh, his helper, please go follow them and ask them, why are you doing ra'at ha'tova? Why, when I'm giving you good things, I'm behaving with you so nice, you're doing bad things to me. You're paying something bad. So he went, he, he followed them, and he told them, well, wait a second, why you stole the gavia, the, 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 the cup, okay, of, of, my, of my master? He said, we didn't do it. He starts from Reuven, he opened the bag of Reuven, he didn't find it. Shimon didn't find it. Levi didn't find it. Yehuda didn't find it. He didn't find anything. He got to Binyamin, he found the Gavia in Binyamin. Makara over there. Katuv, lo, kulam, vaikreu simlotam. All the Kishvatim, they ripped their clothing. So you said that because of Binyamin, they ripped the clothing. Oh, very good. So now we have a question. Wait a second. Binyamin has it. What he did? I didn't, I didn't do nothing. They, Yosef did it to Binyamin. So I caused it. Yosef caused it. Who is the cause here? Binyamin? Binyamin is not the cause. What's the reason? Why did Midrash said? Midrash Abba said, you know what? Because the, the Shvatim, they wrapped the clothing because of Binyamin. So now Binyamin, he's going to have to rip. Who's Binyamin? Mordechai. He's a man Binyamin. He's a man of Binyamin. He's a man of Binyamin. So his grand, grand, grandson of Binyamin, the grandson of Binyamin, he's going to have to come and going to rip his clothing. To rip his clothing. What? What's the reason? Very interesting, interesting midrash, and we need to understand it. I said it's not a punishment. 
I answered it. This is not a punishment here. It is schut. The Midrash said, when the Shvatim saw Benjamin saw the Gavia, the cup of Yosef, and in the bag of Benjamin, Ma saw Shvatim, they start to shamble him. Ganav ben Ganevit. You are Ganav and your mother is a Ganevit. Who is his mother? Rahel. Why? Rahel Ganvat Atrafim. She, she slowed the Avodah Zarah from, from Lavan. She put it under the, the Gamal, right? So I'm talking about your mother, she's a Ganevit, and you are Ganav too. Look what you're doing. And Binyamin didn't answer a word. Yeah. One word didn't answer nothing. Amar Kadosh Baruch Hu, Kadosh Baruch Hu, he waited, went to pay to Binyamin. He needed to pay to Binyamin because when a person is getting shambled and he's not answering, a Kadosh Baruch Hu have a sachar tov for him. He's going to pay him something very, very big. When is going to happen? A Kadosh Baruch Hu kept the sachar, the rewards, and his shamayim until it's going to be the right time. And when is the right time? When Haman in Mahshim of Zechoy wanted to destroy all Am Israel, Binyamin, who is Binyamin? Mordechai from Shevet Binyamin, he raped the clothing to tell Akadosh Baruch Hu, Ribono Shalom. You remember the Shvatim? Did they rape the clothing? Because of my father, Binyamin. So now it's not a punishment. It's a zchut. Look, look at it as a zchut that because of Binyamin did an answer and they ripped the clothing, now Ami said not supposed to rip the clothing, only Binyamin, only Mordechai going to rip the clothing, his clothing, and then what's going to happen? Ami said, all Ami said going to be saved because of that. This is what the Midrash said. Now we're going to go to the next word. Vaiz'ak ze'aka gedola umara. What's the Vaiz'ak ze'aka gedola umara? He screamed from his lungs, Right? And the question is, before the question, what is Vaizak Zaka Gedola Omara? He yelled very loud. Hazaku Baruch. He screamed, he yelled from his lungs. Who knows? Because he knows that all Amisa has a shalom going to die. So he started to scream to Hashem. So wait a second. Oh, why in the city? It wasn't outside the city. In the city. Why he had to go in the city? So I, I saw a Hidush from one of the Mefarshim explain that the reason is because that he, want, he wanted that the people that like Am Israel, a lot of going they like Am Israel. He wanted that they going to know about it. And also today, Baruch Hashem, we have, we have a lot of people that like Am Israel. Some Gashayim Gedolim, Son Imotano. Some likes us. He wants really to know that these people are going to know about it. You want to make sure that these people are going to know about it, all these people. And then they're going to go to the king and they're going to tell him, why are you stupid? What are you doing? Why, why, you, why you want to destroy this nation? We need them. They're giving us Parnassah, they're giving us good money. They, they must live this nation. So Mordechai tried to make a propaganda. This is the reason he made, he made it. And some, some Farshim said it's because that he wanted to make, to make the other nations jealous from Haman because Haman was the, the, the biggest one. So he tried to grab all the people to be jealous in Amman. Okay? And then they're also going to go against Amman together with the Jews and to, and, to, and to help. Yeah. Where the first time in the Torah that we find the words of Isaac, Zaka, Gedola, Omarah? You know? Efo matzano davar kaze. Efo, Efo, tagili, tagili, Albert, tagili, Efo, Jesse, Efo. אני אגיד לכם. כן. אני אגיד לכם, אני אגיד לכם, אל תנחשו. עשיו. נכון, עשיו. מתי זה היה? יפה מאוד. When יעקב סטול דה ברכות, יפה מאוד. When יעקב סטול דה ברכות from עשיו, and Esav came back from the Sadeh, from the field, and he saw that Yaakov stole it. He screamed, Vayitza'a, katu v'tzadik, lo bazayin, v'tzadik, Vayitza'a, tza'aka, gedola, umara, ad me'od. Same words, but the Torah add the words, ad me'od. What is ad me'od? Very much. Very high. 
Yes. Vayitzak zaka. Now, Omer Abidrash, look what the Midrash said. Yaakov Avinu caused Esav to scream so loud, to yell so loud. Now, HaKadosh Baruch Hu paying back to his children that they're going to have to scream to Hashem. And again, why? What's the connection? Yaakov Avinu listened to his mother. Why is he supposed to get punishment? Who told him to take the brachot? His mother told him, Yaakov, you need to take the brachot. Esav not allowed to take the brachot. So why now we're we getting punishment that you're going to have to scream because the Takadosh Baruch Hu going to destroy them? Why Misken? Mawa Asa, Mawa Hashem Yaakov, that his children are supposed to suffer. So I saw a nice teruts and I put it together with a little bit more spices. The bracha, let's start from the beginning. When Rivka told Yaakov, when she told Yaakov, go to Abba and take the brachot. What Yaakov told her? Ani mefahed. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. Lama? Ulai yemusheni avi ve'iti be'enav kim ta'atea. Maybe my father is going to touch me. Abba is going to touch me. You're going to see that I'm not Esav. Ve'iti be'enav kim ta'atea. Like I'm, I'm laughing at him. And I'm going to bring on myself kelala. Ma Rivka omeret lo? Alai kelalatcha b'ni. The kelala is on me. Meaning the kelala exists. The kelala exists. The kelala does not, not exist. The kelala exists. But I am taking it on my, on my shoulders. Don't worry. The kelala is not going to come on you. The kelala is going to come on me. The kelala exists. When the kelala exists... When Esav came back from the Sadeh and he started to scream, Ma Yitzhak came to him, and he said, Asher tarid, ufarakta ulo me'al savarecha. Rashi explained, When you, Yaakov, you're not going to follow the derech of Torah, Esav is going to have a reason why to be bitter, why to, to complain, and you're going to control and you're going to rule Yaakov. This is, what's, this is what Hachamim said about Kasher tarid. So to merit that the curse exists. The curse exists. Rivka took it on, upon herself. But when the Klala is not going to be on Yaakov Avinu, only when we are following Torah and Mitzvot. When Am is not following Torah and Mitzvot, so Hadith Shalom, the Klala is on our shoulders. It's our, on our heads. As Yaakov Lemala. So now, when Am Israel they went to the party of a Hashverosh. They ate ma'achalot asurot. They, they all, all the all the bad things that a Jew can do, they did. You're not allowed to eat not kosher. They eat not kosher. You're not allowed to be with with goyot. They were with goyot. In the party, In the party there was the best party, half a year party. Imagine, half a year party. Me also a half a year party. After seven days of Sheva Barachot, Ben Adam Nigmar, Olech Al Abita, cannot, cannot look at his wife. Over there, half a year. Half a year, Asu Mesibba. And they did all the Averot in the Torah. And Mordechai is screaming, Please stop, please stop, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. No one listened to Mordechai. No one cares about what Mordechai said. No one. And also, we said that before what happened also, Nebuchadnezzar Belech Bavel, he put a put a statue, and all the Amim had to mishtahavet to the statue. And Am Israel, part of Am Israel, also bell down to the statue. So you see here that Am Israel at that time, they were down. They didn't follow Torah and Mitzvot. Omer HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Vayizak Zaka Gedola Umara Ad Me'od, you know what's Ad Me'od? Very, very, very high. And this Ad Me'od, it caused us a problem. When I saw scream, you can scream from today till tomorrow. Only if we follow the Torah and Mitzvot. So there's no problem. What's the problem? But now, when I'm Israel not following the Torah and Mitzvot, we, Had Shalom, we're doing the other, the other things. We're going the opposite. So now this is the time for Esav to complain on the brachot. 
This is the time for Haman to be on top of us. Kalaya has the shalom al Am Israel. What's Mordechai supposed to do now? You have to fix it. You have to do exactly what, what Isav did, the grandfather of Haman. You have to scream, scream also. You have to yell very strong. He screamed. He yelled. You know why? To mevatel, to cancel the, 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 the scream of, of Isav. So, Be'emet, it wasn't supposed to be a punishment if we would continue Dech Torah Mitzvot. But when we not continue Dech Torah Mitzvot, this is the problem. And this is the reason that we, Am Yisrael, have to scream to Hashem. I saw beautiful perush, the difference between Vayitzak to Vayitzak. In Hebrew, we said Vayitzak. Pa'am the Torah said Vayitzaku el Hashem, im Zayin. Pa'am katu Vayitzaku im Tzadik. It's the same thing. Tzaka, Zaka, it's the same thing. What's, what's the difference? I saw, I think, I think it's the Malbim explained that Zaka is when people together scream. What Zaka is when one person scream. So, oh, Mordechai collect all the kids. All Am Israel. Esav, when he did it, he was by himself and his problem. But by Isaac, Mordechai by Isaac, he wasn't on his own. He did it together with all the kids, with all Am Israel to scream with him. This is, this is a strong, very good. This is the reason that by Mordechai, Mordechai understood, me, myself, I cannot cancel this, this Se'aka. I cannot by myself, I cannot do it. You know why? Because Esav, he was really Admeot. What is Admeot? He was from his lungs. He was really sad that Yaakov Avin would lie to him. And he, and, and he tricked him and he took the brachot from him. This is the problem. So Lachen here, Mordechai, Tzarich Asot, he had to gather all Am Israel. He had to gather all Am Israel and to scream together. Even if he wasn't at the orbit because he was Ze'aka, he was together, he was again, he was in the same level like I said that he made it Ad Me'ol. He was very, very, very strong. Now, let's continue. Vayzakuh, Vayzakuh. Te'ilim, it's not here. It's, it's in Te'ilim. You're not going to see it in Hamash. You're going to see it in Te'ilim. Vayavo Pasuk Abba. Vayavo at Sha'ar Ha'ir. At Sha'ar Ha'melech. Ki en lavo el Sha'ar Ha'melech bilvush zak. Here, we're learning something very important. Aya Gaon Mivina Alava Shalom, and more Mefarshim explain, all Megillat Esther, when you see the word Ha'melech, Ha'melech, it's a Kadosh Baruch Hu. Ha'melech. Ha'melech Ha'hashverosh, it's a Hashverosh. It depends. Ma katuv. And I have, Baruch Hashem, I had a schut uh, mefaresh, almost every place in the Megillah, Efo she katuv ha-melech levad, Efo she katuv ha-melech ha-hashverosh. To explain it exactly, all the Megillah, davar davar alufanam. Vepo katuv, vayavo ad lifne sha'ar ha-melech. Ki en lavo el sha'ar ha-melech bilvush sak. Po yesh remez to people that coming to, to, to shul to pray with shorts, with, with uh, sweatpants. Ki en lavol sha'ar ha-melech bilvush sak. When you come to, to sha'ar ha-melech, to bet, bet ha-mikdash, to bet knesset. Huh? It's not allowed. People just do it because they're lazy. But the emet la'alakha, a person is supposed to, is supposed to be kavod. So kavod. But if a person he can change, he should change. Put suit or put nice normal clothing, 
Jane's, whatever where the person he goes, he go, he go with. But don't come with uh, with shorts and sweatpants and gufiya. כן, אני יודע, אני יודע, אני יודע, אבל צריך, צריך להיזהר בדבר הזה. זה, זה רמז, פה במגילה זה רק רמז. אבל let me explain to you מה, what's the deep explanation here. מה כתוב פה? ויבוא עד לפני שער המלך. The reason, very good, that Philot of Mordechai, he, he, he reached only until the gate of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, not until Hashem. Until Shaar HaMelech, Shaar HaMelech until the gate of the king. Meaning, Shaare Shamaim was closed for Mordechai. Meaning, the Tfilah of Mordechai, he got until where? Until the Shaar HaMelech, until the gates of the Melech, not until the Melech. Lama? Ki en lavo el Shaar HaMelech bilbusak. Habibi, when you pray Betsar to Hashem, Hashem doesn't like it. You need to come with Simcha, you need to come nicely, you need to come with, with energy. When you come, you cry. Kshparuchu, maybe we'll take it, maybe we're not going to take it. We're not sure if we're going to take it. But if you really want to come, if you want, want that the Kadosh Baruch Hu will listen to your tefillot, do it with simcha. Ki en lavo el shahar ha-melech, el shahar, el shahar, el toch ha-shahar shel ha-melech, bilvusak, shahadam hu bitsahar, bilvusak. Kacha lo mitpalelim. Adam lo mitpalel kacha. Tech tpalel besimcha. En mitpalelim, ela mitoch, simcha shel mitzvah. Kacha agmara kotevet. צריך להתפלל בשמחה. כן. 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 תמיד. תמיד, תמיד, תמיד צריך לבוא לקדוש ברוך הוא בשמחה. כן, עבדו את אדוני בשמחה. מה זה עבדו? לעבוד את השם. לעבוד את השם, לעבוד את השם, זמינים. To serve השם. תפילה זה עבודה. תפילה זה לא... תפילה זה לא סתם משהו, זה instead of the עבודה in בית המקדש. It's instead of the work in בית המקדש. ומה כתוב? עבדו את אדוני בשמחה. מרדכי היהודי, I'm telling you, ככה אומר המגילה, בעל המגילה, זה בא עד שער המלך, היא גדלה until only שער המלך, לא לתוך שער המלך, כי אין לבוא אל שער המלך בלבוסק. If you want to understand how תפילה of the person will מתקבל, will be accepted by הקדוש ברוך הוא, בשמחה, לא בלבוסק. לא בצער, לא, ככה לא עושים. The last pursuit that we're going to say for today, ובכל מדינה ומדינה מקום אשר דבר המלך ודתו מגיע, אבל גדול ליהודים, וסום ובכי ומספד, שק ואפר יוצא על הרבים. עכשיו, it's not only מרדכי. עכשיו, I'm going to tell you something. מרדכי, he saw that his תפילות He was in Tsar. He knew that Hazi Shalom, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, going to destroy Am Yisrael. There is a, there's a Gezerah. There's a Gezerah. How he can be happy? So he know that he cannot do it on his own. He cannot do it by himself. Mordechai cannot do it by himself. He's supposed to, he's supposed to mitgaber. Now, to be with how will he be happy? How are you going to be happy? How are you going to be happy? He cannot. So there is another thing that he can do. Together, very good. Together all Am Yisrael. Together the people. Why? Ein el kabir lo imas. Lo imas bema betfilat rabim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he never moes, he never discussed a tefila of rabim, of a lot of people. More people, more kavod la melech. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu listened to the tefilot more. If you want that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gonna listen to you, or if you mitpalel biyahid, do it besimcha. If you cannot be in simcha, make sure to mitpalel le minyan. Make sure to parallel with, with people, why? Because when there's a minyan, a kadosh baruch hu, don't look at the people. Tzadik, rasha, sameh, ahlu sameh. Kadosh baruch hu taking a tefillah together to Hashem. Lachen, ma omer? Begal shu lo yachol. Uvchol medina o medina. Mekom asher devar ha-melech vedato magia. Evel gadol ha-yehudim. Kula evel, kula betzar. Aval ma yam osim? Tzom, ubchi, umisped. Sag wa efer yutza ala rabim. All the people, mazi yutza? Mordechai, he paying for the rabim. To wear sack because it's all of us together. When all of us together, kulanu mit ahadim beyahad to pray to Hashem, there is there is a there is a hotemet that Hakadosh Baruch Hu will listen to us. There is a stamp here, guarantee that Hashem will listen to us. Lachin now today in Am Yisrael and Yerushalayim today, they went to the Kotel Amaravi and they said Shema Yisrael and Shofarot and they pray. Habir Rabotai, this is what Mila Kadosh Baruch Hu waiting for. Kadosh Baruch Hu waiting for Am Yisrael to be together. 
Besimha or Betzang. When we together, Kshvaruchu, right away, he's changing everything and he's making everything good. Everything is going to be positive. So we see from here this beautiful Habibi. We learned, we already almost came at Sha'at, but we're not going this Shabbat, before Mincha, we're going to talk about Halachot of, of Purim, all the Hamisha Mem, Sheyesh Lanu Mem, to Adam Aze Mem? Mem. Mishloach Manot, Matanot Laevionim, Mishteh, Megillah, Mahatit Ashekel, all the Mem, Matheel Be Mem. All the Mem, there's a reason for the Matheel Be Mem. And the Shabbat comes, I will explain. And also we're going to read a few more Pesukim from Megillah Yisrael. Amen. Amen. Amen.